It's day six, it's June 30th. We're starting the tour in the state of Kansas. And um, this state uh, has been dry. The northwest corner has been. We've been traveling west on 56. We're near McPherson, Kansas, and we're in this cornfield here. Um, you know, you can tell that uh, uh, probably planted early and uh, got some moisture, but now it's, it's drying out. We got cracks in the ground across the road. It looks like there's some corn that was planted. It's barely uh, emerged, um, probably just planted here in the last week or so. So uh, this crop's okay, but it, it's not uh, impressing me, not what, what I've seen thus far. Just to give you some state, uh, facts about the state of Kansas, corn is about 69%, good to excellent versus nas national average 75%. Very poor to poor is at 5%. Yield in 15 was 148. The record 155 in 09. Um, there's about 4.8 million acres of corn. We're up uh, uh, versus uh, 2015. Soys, we got about almost 4 million acres planted, 6.6% of the total. We're down 1% versus 15. Uh, the yield in 2015 was 38.5. Record in 09 was 44. So even though uh, beans get planted late here, you can plant beans on June 1st, um, you know, with some moisture and decent ideal growing conditions, it can still produce that 40 to 50 bushels per acre. And finally, wheat. This is a big wheat state, 8.5 million acres. Um, we're about 25% harvested. Uh, actually, it's more than that. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, wheat being harvested. Uh, big yields, 80, 100, 110. Proteins, maybe not as much, but they're not, they got so much wheat in the state now some guys are suggesting that they've uh, made two crops in one year, making as much as 280 uh, bucks an acre versus 180 on average. And they're starting to pile the wheat on the ground because there's not enough in the storage bins. Uh, yield is about 37. Um, and uh, the last thing I'll say is that Kansas is ranked number one in sorghum production. So, um, they're forecasting some rain. This crop, both the bean and the corn crop in the state of Kansas, is gonna need some rain soon because it's doing some damage to yield. Traveling north on 81, we're near Salina, Kansas. We're gonna end our uh, tour in the state of Kansas and um, you know, we're in front of a, a dry land, it looks like dry land corn. We've seen a lot of irrigated corn throughout the state. Again, this, this, it's a similar theme that we've seen in some of the better states like Missouri and Illinois. Uh, we've had a great start, some moisture, in some cases early planted, but now all of a sudden it's gotten dry. And uh, you can see here some pineappling, even maybe some rolling of the corn here. It's dry. Expected some rain over the weekend. We'll see whether that happens, but over the next month It's very critical that both the irrigated and the dry land corn uh, get some moisture um, There's a lot of potential uh, But uh, I think there's been enough damage and stress from the dry weather This is definitely a drier year than the last couple years um, And we'll have to wait and see what happens here, but uh, um, the crops are good, the, you know, lush and green, and um, uh, but uh, and the temps are not. Uh, again, we had a hundred de day degree day here, or pretty close to it, pretty hot, uh, but very little moisture in, in the forecast. So we're going to rank this state about a 7.5. The beans also look pretty good, pretty healthy. Uh, beans in Kansas look short, but they can plant June 1st and still produce a 40-50 bushel acre crop uh, as long as they get that moisture. But uh, in, in a lot of cases, whether dry land beans or irrigated, um, they're, they're looking good. So 7.5, uh, I'm going to rank the state of Kansas just behind Missouri. So Illinois is still the top state, Missouri second, uh, Kansas third, and then Indiana, Ohio come in that um, um, last category just because they were behind.